guys. I lied to you. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. Poop missile! Did you see it? It was a little laggy. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some Ark Survival Evolved peeps. Is it morning? It's morning. It's morning. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. And today, we're heading over to Softa and Whippet's base. Because we need a super Quetzal. I want a new Quetz. I want a new high level Quetzal. And I think that we got Pugly and he's great for carrying around heavy stuff and things. Well, we need a super Quetzal. We need something a little bit higher level. Now, you're going to see these guys' epic base rendering right here. These guys have a super Quetzal. I think this is the one right here. It's tamed out at 161. Oh, man. This base is loading in. Oh, baby. Look at this thing, man. Did they do all the roof out of metal? These guys are metal-holics. Metal-holics. Metal something. And it's lag town over here. It's just because it's loading in all their epic stuff and things. But yeah, so I think this might be the guy. Oh no, that's not the guy. That's Vulture, level 40, level 40, 49 or something. There's another Super Quetzal around here somewhere. Oh, look at their cool sign. Sawy base. Oh, I'm so sawy. I burned your base down. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to burn your base down, guys. Your base is epic. So, um, we got to find, we got to find the Super Quetzal. I'm not sure where he's at. Oh, yeah, I want to stop and tell you guys, you know, a couple of days ago, we did the minigun turret episode. Then we did the penguin army episode, which everybody really liked. Then we did the how to not build a bridge episode, which was a huge fail. But we had a lot of fun doing it, and you guys really showed your support. Thank you guys so much for hitting the thumbs up button. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Oh, I didn't have to go. And uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. So let's go ahead and I'm serious. Don't forget to subscribe. All right. Is there a Super Quetzal in here? There he is. Quampire. Level 199. So we gotta go, I guess, over this in this door over here. And then let's take a look. Is this a lady dude or a dude lady? There's another low one. There's another one. This building is epically humongous, by the way. This is a dude. Quampire the dude. Oh, wait, no. Quampire. This is a... Uh... That's uh, the, 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 the Star Snipes guy. So Star Snipes guy is Quampire. And so that's a super high level one. Now there's another one. I thought that these guys said they had one. Let me go ahead and check the chat really quickly. I think it's going to pause the screen. XB's got a high level one from... Um, from Zul'jin that he bought. And then these guys said they had a 108 that tamed at 161. So, But I don't see it over here. So Quampire, the dude we could totally use to mate... And then look at how they got the little they got all their little guys all organized in here. Oh, what's this cr holy crap, man? They got a whole organizational structure. These guys are so organized. I love it. Oh, look at their look at their little guys. So cool. All right. So we got Quampire. There's supposed to be another one. They might be out and about on it. So we can take a look on it. Oh, there it is right there. There it is. Pretzel, there's the guy. Is it a lady? It's a lady. And it has a turret on its back. Oh, I love the color of these guys, too. Look at this. They painted it purple. Oh, my God. Do you have bullets? No bullets. So, oh, well, it's no bullets. But we got the lady right here. So we got a lady. This is really high level. We got a dude. This is really high level. I say that we have them get over here and get together and make a baby. Let's, let's do this. So, all right. We're going to pop this open like a so. Let's go ahead and get this guy inside. Now, they had a little bit of room to wander around here, but there is supposed to be a trick where you can whistle. I can't remember what it is. You can whistle something, something. No, not map. I think it's if you whistle. Maybe whistle neutral? I don't know. There's a whistle that you can do to make him not wander around. Let's see if we can get this to work. Let's go ahead and shut the door here. Let's set him to wander. Set her to wander. And then we'll just whistle neutral. Oh, wait. Someone's in a fight. Is there a fight? No. They're not wandering. No, don't wander. Okay, hold on. I feel like maybe I whistle neutral in their base. 
which is no bueno. Oh my god, the lag is so real here. Is there bad guys down here? Their base is so big, they get spawning in it, like, all over the place. It's, like, inside of here? I don't think it is. Oh, man. They're so close to each other, I think it might happen. Oh, they're about halfway done. Quampire, get it on, man! Don't go too far away, Quampire! As long as she doesn't move, it's gonna be unbelievable. And I guess the whist whistling doesn't... I know there's a whistle. There's one of the whistles that you can do, or something like that. Play emote. No, that's not it. Not attack my target. Oh, whistle stop. Whistle stop all. That might be it. You can just keep whistle stop all. Oh, I think that's what it is. All right. So in a second here, she's going to squirt an egg out of her buckloika. Let's get over here so we can see it happen. Oh, my God. Here it comes. Squirt it out your butt. Do it! Oh, she squirted it right at me! Hello, baby! Hello, baby egg! Come to me. Okay, very quickly. We will disable wandering. We will disable wandering. Everything is perfect! And we'll actually just move this lady back out. And put her back out over here. I'm really excited about this! We never really had a super high-level Quetzal, and they're so hard to find. Like, when me and Star Snipe were doing that video and we found that one, I mean, that was, like, epically fortuitous. Beyond. Where did uh, the double go? Did I put him inside? Where are you, the double? There you are. So it was super fortuitous that we found um, that really high-level Quetzal. And it's so cool that we get to mate We get to mate them now, and then we get a baby egg, and it's going to be amazing. We're going to get a baby Quetzal, and we're going to name him... Um, I'm not sure yet. I think I have a name. We might recycle an old name because I'm really excited about this guy, and I think he's going to be really, really cool, and I hope his level's really, really high. We're going to head back to the base and stick him in the incubation chamber. Stuff and things are going to happen, peeps. BRBs! And we're back on the double. We got here on the double. <laughs> Get it? Because, all right. So let's check out how much gas we've got. Turn on, I said. Thank you. And now we are in the incubation station. We will drop the egg. It is a humongous egg. It is so impressively humongous. And it is incubating. This is the process where you look at the egg. Do you know? I don't know if you know this. But if, you, if you're incubating an egg in the game, there's a few things to keep in mind. One of them is that they incubate faster if you put them on stone foundations. Um, way better than anything else. And also, if you keep your character looking at them, um, they incubate way slower. A watched egg never incubates. So you want to just, like, look away. And also, I heard that if you... Um, no, those are all lies. They're all lies! I lied to you! I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to let this thing do its thing and incubate. And when we get our baby, we will be our bees. Now, thankfully, FYIs, if you're wondering about the food sitch, I went out on Hotspot earlier today and I got a bunch of, of meat. So we got a good amount here. Um, actually, considering how much this quest is going to eat, we might take Hotspot out again just to get some more stuff and things while, it, while the egg is incubating. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go get some more stuff and things. Oh, oh, you know what else? I'm really excited about this. Um, the Kairuku. Remember we got the penguin army? Oh, there's one. Kairuku eggs. Oh, give them to me. Wait, what? Hello, the lag. The Kairuku eggs, by the way, are kibble for... Are you ready for this? Um, what is it again? Anglerfish! <laughs> Anglerfish, I forgot. So these are kibble for anglerfish. And it's kind of hard to get sometimes. Sometimes the eggs are like in the center. And we can't really get them. But we do have a lot of these eggs already. Um, is there a, a, a simple way that I could fly up to show you guys? Could I use uh, the doubles over here? That's how I get up. I'm not sure exactly how many we've got. I think maybe 9 or 10 or something like that. Um, so the next time we go to tame an anglerfish, if we can find a really big one, um, it's going to be easy to, to do that. So I'm kind of excited about that. Right now we've got a lot. Of, whoa, 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 whoa. God, he's so fast, man. It's so crazy how quick this guy is. So we've got a lot of um, of uh, stego eggs, and now wrong, and now we've also got some of these guys going too. So how many do we have now? Twelve. We've already got twelve Kairuku eggs, so it's gonna be awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I'm gonna go get some meats, and I'll be our bees, peeps. Any second now. Any minute now. 
Any minute now, any second now. Oh, I need meat right now. Any second now. Any minute now. One of these minutes. Min there it is. He's a baby Quetzal. <gasps> Twins. Twin baby Quetzals. Imprints. Oh, number one. What is you? So amazing. Uh, here. I can't believe we got twins. Twins, twins, twins. Imprint. Two. Baby. Would you like food? Look how amazing you are. Here, have some. Disable wandering. Disable wandering. We have two baby twins oars. Look at them. Thumbnail. Hello. We have two. They're babies. They're level 162. Oh my god, they're so amazing. We can just leave them right in here. We can just leave them right right there. Just uh, unfollow. Oh yes, babies. We got two babies. Oh my god, all the food. There's going to be so much food. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. Why are you going somewhere? What is happening? Why is the double losing control? What was that? Are you guys on attack my target? <laughs> the default is attack my target. I had no idea. So, all right, something was out here. The double annihilated its face pretty quick, so that's good. Thank you, the double. You're such a nice uh, babysitter. Okay, 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 okay. I'm over here like so. Follow. Follow. Wait, this guy, you need to come inside. Oh, no, they can't come inside. They'll go grow up and they'll destroy the house. Oh, my gosh. We need you guys to be outside. Come over here. Come over here. Baby Quetzals, come to me. Rain of Fire reference. Check. Okay, now take a left. You're on it. They look like little ducks. They look like little turkey ducks. Come here, guys. No, a little bit further. So you're right next to your little brother there. And stop. Okay. Now let's get you out of the frame here because we got to get a little... You guys, I'm so excited right now. I can't believe we got two of them. They're so going to be so powerful. Oh, my God. Look how cute the chickens are. Baby chickens. Hello, baby chickens. I'm your father. Kind of. Uh, Guardian, I didn't, you're not, I, I didn't mate with a Quetzal. I did not mate with a Quetzal. I mated two Quetzals, and then you happened. So, no, your parents love you. Yes, they are to, they're not together. This is dinosaurs. It's not like people. You don't need to be so worried about that, because I am going to take care of you. Please, other baby Quetzal, follow me. Okay, so now, do we have them both? Crap, we didn't get them. Hold on, I'm flustered. Land. How come? There we go. They're both following the double now. All right. So we got these guys. Now, now make no mistake, ladies and gentle peeps, the growth process for these guys is going to be long and ongoing. Um, it is is going to take quite a while. So now I do want to show you them all grown up. Normally in a lot of these... Uh, hello, Ark. What is up with Ark doing that lately? Um, normally I would ba grow you the baby or we'd make a baby. And then we don't really wait for them to grow. Um, but these guys are going to wait for them to grow because I want you to see what happens and what we're going to do. And I'm really excited. I, maybe we can give one away. We don't need two. So maybe we can give one away to somebody or something like that. They also have an interesting color. Um, we're definitely going to paint a little bit of the green out of them, though, I think. But they look really cool, man. I can't believe it. Um, so we have to wait at least until the maturation for these guys, where's their weight? 1,200. So we need the weight to be at 121 before they'll start trough eating. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to kind of babysit these guys and make sure they at least get up to the M. Um, and then once they're there, or we'll let them mature. And like I said, we'll come back. Um, once they're there, I can trough eat. Maybe I'll go play some Fallout or some Mad Max or something like that um, while we have them grow. But for now, these, I'm just going to babysit our new babies. And we're back. Check it out, peeps. I can't believe it. Our new baby Quetzals are full-grown Quetzals now. Check it out. We got two of them. They're unbelievable. I can't even believe it. I'm so excited. I can't believe we got twins. We're so fortuitous. But one of the things I got to tell you guys is that it takes a really long time for these guys to grow up. It's 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> I wanted to get this episode done for tomorrow. And I totally forgot. We have the maturation timers turned up really, really high on this server. You know, we're here to make videos. we got to get stuff and things done sometimes. So one of the things is we want it to kind of be a balance. So we have them turned up, but not too high. But normally, one of these guys takes days and days to grow. On the server here, it took about, I don't know, 12 hours? 
I think. Maybe a little bit more than 12 hours to grow up. And I didn't expect it to take that long. I expected it to take like six hours or something like that. But it took a lot longer. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The show must go on. Here we are. Their coloring's pretty cool. We might go a little bit blue on them. The black is really, really, really cool. All right, but I never even showed you guys the stats. Check it out. 9,900 health, 2,250 stamina. They start off with 1,200 weight, 291 melee damage, and 136.5 movement speed. Absolutely crazy stats. Totally cool, and I've named them. Now, one of the names I recycled from Season 1... Um, and so I wanted to show you guys, we have Ultimate Destroyer. Remember Ultimate Destroyer from Season 1? One of the very, very uh, well-loved episodes. If you guys never watched Season 1, there's a link in the down there. And then we got Ultimate Destroyer and Steve. Steve. Steve? Yep, Steve. We got Ultimate Destroyer and Steve. And what Steve's going to do is he's going to kind of take over as our weight bird, most likely. We got a platform saddle on him. He's doing stuff and things, but Ultimate Destroyer... We are going to turn into, like, the Quetzal version of the Argentavis. We've got to build him up really, really high. I want to get his attack damage up really high, his movement speed up to about 150. Probably going to pump his HPs one point at least. Um, but I want to get him a little bit faster, too. And I'm really excited to see, like, what he can do. So straight away, right now, he has got some hit points. 8,500. We're going to take him over to the North Island. I want to see how powerful he is just to start off with. Because he does have the 291 attack damage. Like, it's not bad. He's not bad to start off with. So that's what we're going to do. And I think it's time to do a little bit of a Quetzal levely up montage bits, peeps. So once we get over there, we're going to wreak havoc on the North Island. Get ready, North Island. Ultimate Destroyer's on the way. And we're back from our arduous journey of leveling up on Ultimate Destroyer. I don't know how much of an Ultimate Destroyer he's actually going to be. He's pretty good at destroying. He's like definitely a destroyer. But an Ultimate Destroyer? It's yet to be seen, ladies and gentle peeps. Let's take a rundown of the new improved 189th level stats. So we didn't get him that high level. He started off at 162. He's now 189. 162, 169. That's 17 levels that we got him. 15,000 hit points now, which is a lot. Way, way more than uh, anything else that I've got for a bird that's a flyer, that's for sure. And I only gave him two points. Two points in health. Gave him 15,000 health. Uh, we still have them at 1,200 weight. We have the melee damage up to 900 and the movement speed at 150. So at 150 with 900 um, damage, I'm not really sure exactly how amazing he's going to end up being. But we're going to continue to do it, and I think once we get him up to like 200 or something like that, it's going to be pretty baller. It's going to be really, really great. But there is one thing that I have to tell you guys about. First of all, if you guys like the montage, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and show your support. Second, I'm a tired, tired boy. I'm a tired boy. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't ever do this. And actually, I was just thinking to myself, it feels really weird to be recording like this because 
Normally I finish my arc video right in the morning. Like I get up and I get some I get some tea and I get logged in and I go to the mountain and I get some metal and I harvest some metal and then I like go and get some stone and I just do some like, you know, waking up stuff and then I start to take and record my video and then I get my video done and it's like in the afternoon or in the early evening when the video is done and then I have like the evening and then record some more other games or something like that. But it's really weird to not be done until three o'clock in the morning. And so uh, make Slipgator go something something. So uh, 